So hi there, just a quick update for me on your transmitter project. I recommend you to build this transmitter I built for you today because this transmitter does generate various frequencies in the medium wave band and as you can see it uses a crystal so the frequency won't change. Um, the transmitter does uh, divide the frequency from the crystal through 16 and then you get your AM signal. For example, if I put here a 16 MHz crystal, I get out the 1 MHz signal. But the crystal here shouldn't be higher than 22.11 MHz, which gives you a frequency on around 1.38 MHz in the medium wave band. So I'm holding the camera here so you can see the circuit diagram. Once again, I would recommend this transmitter for you. Um, because it's crystal controlled and I've tested it and it does give you the range that you require. I've tested it with a small radio. I can get 4 to 5 meters transmission range in good quality with this. And some explanations. Here is the variable coil L LX. Um, that means it depends on your frequency which coil you use. Lower frequencies require a, a bigger coil. Higher frequencies require a smaller coil. So you should buy a small collection of coils. I mean this type of coils. Don't uh, this, this coil is not really in the circuit. I'm using it as a wire bridge. These two coils are used as wire bridges, but these coils here are actually in the transmitter. So you should buy coils that look like this, so-called SMCC coils uh, or RF chokes, and you should buy a small collection from values from um, 220 microhenry up to 1 millihenry. So buy 220, 330, 470, 680, and then 1 millihenry. So you would, should buy these, these coils because uh, these coils, you, you, you can experiment with your antenna to get the best performance. Do, although it's medium wave, I'm using a kind of small antenna. I'm using two times a one meter long wire. One meter is approximately three feet long. And as you can see, I'm using two alligator clips here as my wire. This is my ground wire and this is my antenna. And the transmitter gives me a range of five meters. Um, once again, I recommend this transmitter for you because it's crystal controlled and you can use a crystal and for the frequencies you, you have more crystals available. So you can buy crystals for maybe, say, let me say, 10 MHz to 22.11 MHz and all of these crystals um, will give you a signal in the medium wave band. Once again, divide the crystal frequency, in this case it's 16 MHz, through 16 and you get your medium wave frequency. I really, really recommend this transmitter for you because it's crystal controlled and it runs with these batteries, it runs with 12 volt and it does consume about 30 to 50 milliamps so it does last many many hours with these kind of batteries. Okay, once again here's the schematic. I'm sure you will have some questions about the schematic but that at the time when I'm making this video I'm in a hurry a little bit. So that's why the schematic looks so messed to be honest. Um, yeah. You should buy these components. I really recommend this transmitter. Or better, it's not really expensive. Buy both components. Buy the components for the 3N, 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 3N04 transmitter and buy the components for this transmitter. And then just figure out which one fits better for your requirements. Okay, um, of course I'll, demo I'll demonstrate the transmitter, but I have to place the radio in that distance because at close distance the signal is so strong the radio will overload. Okay. As you can see, we are transmitting on 1 MHz. And the crystal here is 16 megahertz. Okay, um, that's my transmitter. And once again, this is for example a 100 microhenry coil. Buy many, many coils, many RF chokes so you can experiment for the best performance. Um, another thing is the tunable, the tuning capacitor here, the 5290 picofarad. I'm not sure if you can get one of these because they are quite raw, but you can also buy a, another capacitor like. 10 to 40 picofarad or 5 to 30 picofarad and then if you you can simply take a normal capacitor like this one here take a normal capacitor and switch it parallel uh, yeah I got some capacitors here and switch it parallel to the tuning capacitor to get the required frequency so it's very simple to adjust on the 1k potentiometer here you can adjust your volume this is the potentiometer and on this capacitor here simply tune uh, turn it until you get the best signal strength from your transmitter. Once again, your transmitter will require a two meter long wire. That means one meter long wire for ground here and a one meter long wire for the antenna. So here's my ground wire and here's my antenna wire. Here, once again, I really suggest you this transmitter because it's crystal controlled. You won't have the vendoring frequency, if you want to call it like that. 
you will have a good audio quality through the LM3 at 6 modulator. And yeah, what can I say? I really require this transmitter for you. Just a small range test in my room. Take the radio. And go to the other side of the room. Okay. Well, the camera is making some interference. That's the camera noises, the interference. However, that's my transmitter for you. Crystal controlled. And yeah, it's in some ways better than the 2N3904 transmitter. So, best regards from Stefan.